and I am back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, somebody came and needed something, so I had to kind of hop off here a minute. Um, but back to what I was talking about. Um, so with the Ravenflower auction, I have, let's see, what one was this? The Blue Vermilion. Um, and then some rosemary or something similar to it. <laughs> this one doesn't have a label and admittedly, yeah, I'm still in the early stages of studying certain herbs, so I will be the first to admit I am not an expert. Um, but here's a couple of the samplings that came from her garden. And then here was some turmeric cinnamon bath waxes or beeswax bath salts they fared pretty well she told me um when first making the purchase she was like if these melt before they get to you let me know <laughs> but you will be happy to know raven that they fared up pretty well um, melting was minimal, um, and so, so, yeah. If I could just get this one out. Mmm, ah. and they smell absolutely amazing. I think she said all you do is you just set these in the shower with you or in the bathroom and the steam from the shower creates a reaction for these. I mean, just absolutely amazing. You can see the imprint they left in the bag. <laughs> yes, the, the main thing in them is beeswax, which, you know, any form of wax will melt when exposed to things like heat and flame and and so she did admit when selling these to me at auction um, that that uh, that Texas heat until they got out of Texas might be a bit of a, a drag on them, but they fared, I'd say, pretty darn well. They are a little sticky, um, but they've retained the original shape that they were made in. And they... Mm, smell amazing. <laughs> and then here's some homemade tea light candles um, that were blended with dragon's blood, incense or dragon's blood resin. And then a elemental candle. Mm. These tea light candles just are absolutely amazing. And then it looks like a series of small working or taper candles for spell workings. Um, I'll have to definitely charge these under the next full moon and do a working. I've got some prosperity workings and some other things that I wanna try and do with these sometime soon. So definitely, I will probably either tape like a reenactment or a breakdown of that working or tape the working itself just to show how I do things. And then the best part Ooh. Ooh. 
have to kind of slow down and be a little careful here. She had a series of stones up for grabs, a series of like tumble stones and and here they are. <laughs> I think a couple of these are the same one, but on her first, she did like five auctions that day, and on her, one of her first auctions, I just went for it. <laughs> e each of the stones in this package made up like a row and a half, almost two rows of because what she does with the items up for grabs is she puts them out on a board that's outlined almost like a grid. Um, any of you who've seen her auctions know what I'm talking about. Um, but they're put up almost like a grid and she labels them like A, B, C, D, down the alphabet, then A, B, A, A, as, you know, once she's run out of letters, just codes them that way. Um, and what happens is in the live stream, where you can post comments, um, you you comment, I want AA, I want BB, or better yet, she'll put the name of the item that's up for grabs. For example, the children, yeah, the, the handwriting on some of these is faded. Um, I know the bottom one says amethyst. <laughs> um, I, I didn't see the top part, but for example, the amethyst stone, she'd say such and such amethyst stone on the grid, and then you would type, I want the amethyst stone. And you had to be quick on the draw. Some of these were hot items that people really tried to snatch, um, and it works on essentially a first come first serve basis. Um, the first person to say, I want the amethyst stone, that's yours. Um, and then here's a Labradorite. Laborite. <laughs> um, a Laborite stone as well. Oh, yes, here it is. It was two Laborite, Labradorite stones. This was the one that I bought. You know, there was multiple available, and I snatched them both. Um, so these are just going to go among a big collection of stones that I have, and they are going to be blessed and charged and brought under the full moon and because they will also be charged for a place on my altar when I finally have the space to build it. One of her things is an item I haven't even taken out of the wrapper. That's what I'm doing here. It looks like it's a cork-topped bottle. Oh, I think she had a, like a rose salt or like a dragon's blood type of salt um, for sale that day that... I'll have to look back at her video to see what the properties were. Um, but there were some very protective, very cleansing, positive properties in this salt that I thought, this looks like something I could use, something I need. Um, so here it is. In yet another lovely, lovely cork topped bottle. Ooh, careful, it's, ooh, I gotta be careful, it's filled to the brim. <laughs> um, but yes, this salt, um, she said I think it was purification and protection, um, a, a form of prosperity, um, and so this overall just, it looked like it was one of only like three available, I think, three or four 
it's just something about it I was drawn to. It's something I felt like I needed, and I'm glad I took it when I did, because these went fast. <laughs> um, and then she created an oil, a spray oil, that smells just, just great. It's obviously very strong. It's, she called it, Let's Not Fight. Um, it's a blend of oils and herbs um, that essentially, you know, they're meant to bring peace. They're meant to help facilitate, you know, calmness, compromise. I'm thinking of bringing it to work. <laughs> um, yes, I work in the customer service or like the call center department of the place where I work. And, I mean, it's not all bad. I mean, there are customers that I'll speak to and that I'll work with that are just absolute joys and if I could get those kind of people all day they would just it would be the light of my life in some ways because those people were just they're sweet they're kind of a joy to work with but naturally and it's not always their fault I mean it, it does come with the territory they're just there are times when things happen and uh, eh, well but admittedly conflict or conflict resolution dealing with it has never really been much of a strong suit and I'm more of the person who wants to be the diplomat and try to find peace ironic as I work in customer service where diplomacy doesn't always fix their problem <laughs> um, but that's why I was thinking of maybe bringing something like this to maybe bless my cubicle with it or like some of the equipment that I work with, bless it with that, um, in the hopes that maybe, just maybe, I can improve my skills with some of the cranky, not so nice ones, <laughs> and just make it so that, you know, I can open up to them a little more, help them understand things when there's a problem, help them work towards it, you know, so if anything, this, I would hope, would bring a solution that would go both ways not just drive away the nasties but maybe bring in some sort of coping skill that would allow me to to work with them to try to understand them more um and just create an overall hopefully more positive environment um yeah <laughs> but yeah so that's that's my haul for today and um you know it was great fun I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have gotten into candle making, learned a few basics. I've made candles, um, but it's an art that I would like to maybe try and get back into. I might open up an Etsy shop or something like some of the other witches do. Um, I'll put, I'll make a batch of candles and other things um, to put out, and uh, maybe I might go alive once I've got an inventory and say you know hey this is what I have and if you guys are interested maybe start um, a home business I know like the Lady Grave Dancer Tequila owns an Etsy shop that she runs from time to time um, I don't know if it's active lately but Wednesday Adams or Wednesday House of Conjure um, she had a, like a hoodoo or like apothecary shop that she ran it's too bad that it hasn't been active as of late. I, I really like that shop. <laughs> she created oils that I got. I want to talk about conflict resolution. Let me tell ya. We used to have a manager in my department. <laughs> she created a concoction. It's called Flying Devil Oil. I brought it with me one day to work. Um... I waited until he was gone for the evening. Um, I, we were open from like 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. You know, so late hours. I worked the later evening shifts. Um, he usually worked earlier shifts, like during the day. Um, so I waited till I had a lunch break or like a dinner break or whatever and a time when he was also gone for the evening. And I drew a sigil on his door in this oil. Lo and behold, a week later, 
we get this announcement from our director. He's going to maintain his management status and he's going to he's going to stay in his role whatever, but he's transferring to another building or another campus than where I'm working. <laughs> I'm not the only one who was excited about that departure. Um, I mean, it's like, obviously, for whatever reason, they don't... It just... Things with him don't work, really, unless you've got the ability to really put up with BS and you're willing to put up with the drama and just overall other negative things. It just, unfortunately, didn't work. Um, so when we found that he was transferring to another campus, I think a whole bunch of us just, just breathed a serious, like a sigh of relief and we're just very happy. Um, but yeah, that's why with her, or Wednesday's products, I can personally attest to their effectiveness. Um, so admittedly, I hope she comes back. <laughs> um, but if not, I mean, that's okay, too. I mean, she's got probably her life, got things going on. Um, but yeah, that's another announcement that I'll probably get into more in another video um, when I got a little time here this week, hopefully. Um, but yeah. And as always, you know, feel free to comment below what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, and as always, have a great day, night, week, whenever you're watching this. And have a just an amazing day. <laughs> and as always, blessed be. Bye.